all right folks what is going on my name is fozzy and welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day and today we're going to be taking a look as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail a 30,000 coin starter squad in fifa ultimate team on fifa 21 this is the very first um squad building um video we're going to have so if you do enjoy it please leave a like right and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button just help me out in this content journey and since it's my first video we're starting this journey i thought it'd be applicable to do a starting team um right now we're just nearing the end of the first week of the foot birthday promo there's going to be a second week now it's quite possibly like obviously the start of the year best time to start your rtg or your road to glory your account whatever this is the second best time you could have started um as many people do throughout the throughout the year of the fifa season they'll start a second account just for a bit of fun i started one a couple of weeks ago on the ps4 i used a very very similar team to this we're going to be using the bundesliga as a core and it was able to get me some decent results and there's that many objective players right now that there's so many avenues to upgrade to so i'm going to build out the squad now we'll go one by one on the on the um on the format on the throughout the formation here uh I thought I'll tell you why I'm going to use each player and then I'm going to fill the bench up at the, at the end and sort of show you your potential upgrade, upgrade ability options, your first step of upgrades anyway, because obviously your team of the years and your big boy cards are what you want, but this is 30,000 coins and then everything's in the game right now at the time watching, like what you can build towards, so without any further ado, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so throughout most of this, is probably going to be concept players uh, as I'm there's no point me going and buying the players and i can just use the concept players to show you some of them i have in my club the goalkeeper we're going with is ballman he is 6-2 um he saves his feet and he's a good keeper he, he just he, the keepers are very coin flip if you're new to the game or if you're maybe just starting a new account and one of the best things you know this already with keepers this year but keepers are just hey, such a coin flip they're so hit and miss it's worth get, buying a more expensive one when you get down the line um but like for like for example ter stegen is seventy thousand coins Meanwhile, you can buy Bowman for 950 coins. He does the job. Um, obviously, you will work towards upgrading that, but you don't want to overspend on your keeper for basically as long as possible and build out the rest of your team because it is the more critical point of view. So, Bowman, 950 coins. Pretty hard to beat. Okay, guys, so for our center back, we're going to be using Klosterman. And I will say, if you're new, the meta right now in FIFA is to be using fullbacks at center back purely for pace. However, I still think in a starting squad, particularly this one, you have good enough center back options to not not go for that weird overspend on the meta quite yet obviously you can build towards that and there's some great options but there's the guys that will show you in later videos that come down the line um, but Klosterman is a great center back option right now in the market if you check foot bin he's 3300 coins so you're spending a little bit he's got the three star weak foot he's pretty rapid he's got that sprint speed is fantastic with good acceleration he is for an interview to center back when I used him against these top tier meta teams, he still did a pretty good job. Obviously, he's not your ideal. Um, you want you want to start getting those upgrades, but he's one of the center backs that you could probably put in your team now. And he's not going to be in your first five or six upgrades. He's just going to be that that little center of your team. He's worth the coins. Solo player, team player. He's just a very very good center back. And the pairing beside him is going to be Lucas Hernandez. I was actually considering using the Robeson left back card here, but I didn't want to complicate it too much with the whole meta thing. So. Another good centre back. He's high, high. He's um six foot. He had downgraded from last year actually. But again, I used him as a starter squad at the start of the year. I had him in my team that I started two weeks ago in the RTG for the PlayStation Four, and he just did a job. Um, again, he's one of the ones. He isn't as urgent an upgrade. But you would you put likely upgrade Hernandez before you upgrade Klosterman. And on the market right now, you can pick up Hernandez for. 2,900 coins so again he, he's good value for money in regards to what you get for a starter squad uh we will look at the right back next who is going to be in Bobby now i have his what if card on my main which is absolutely insane but i opted to use his bs card on my uh, rtg on my ps4 word to go and it's you just want pace at the full backs at this point in the game uh he is currently sitting at let me have a quick check 2,400 coins you're getting a fast center back with Decent physicals, he's got good stamina, which is what really is important for um for your wing back or your full backs this this time around this year. And he's three star, three star, he just does the job for you. Now, I've already mentioned the rules and card that you could have played at centre back, and he was again another option that you could have had at left back here for the Bundesliga. But I've opted for Davies. Davies is four thousand one hundred coins. He's about I think it's about fifteen hundred coins more expensive than Rolison, but I think he just plays different. He's got the good agility balance. He's got the absolutely crack sprint speed and everything else about him is just okay his passing is not fantastic uh, but he's four star four star this is one of the cards that he's an 81 read a card that you can still get away with purely because of the pace his four star four star and his dribbling he just feels okay in game 
so you won't have to worry about upgrading him too urgently but obviously down the line there are options you've got his road to the final which is very expensive and his team of year which is expensive as again but he just he gets a strong link to Bayern Munich there's so many good Bayern Munich players in the game this year and there's more bound to come out so just I think Bundesliga and Serie A for me are the two best leagues to use and this is just another example as to why Bundesliga works now we'll move on to the centre mids first of all and I'm gonna oh, he's not really your big spender but <laughs> you're I think you're dropping almost five thousand yeah four thousand eight hundred coins on Zakaria or Zakaria whichever way pronunciation is meant to be, pronunciation is meant to be I'm not one hundred percent sure this guy was a beast for me a couple weeks ago I was surprised obviously he's E three rated uh he's three star three star medium medium he is a fantastic defensive midfielder he's got good reactions good composure his pace is good and his physicals and defending is good you can get away with him right now and you would this would not be anywhere near one of your first upgrades for your team he has a road to the final card which is actually getting pretty cheap. So you can keep that in mind, but along with say Klosterman and Davies, Sakari is going to be your third player who's like your core and you're going to build around moving forward with your team. Obviously, if you decide to go down a different league option after a couple of weeks, that's perfectly fine. But I think this is your best value for money starter team, and it makes sense to continue to try and build in this league to get your like your most value for coins. Now, pairing alongside him, you're going to be able to see see me typing in here and be able to guess. But we're going to be using Lamer, so it's another center defensive midfielder. He was stellar at the start of the year i think pretty sure my my starting team at the very start was lamer and zakaria if my xbox wants to load in thank you very much um he obviously gets a strong link into clustering which is good it helps your linkability he's 85 ps so this kid is rapid and again he's he's low on the string so you want to put an anchor on him but he's coming in at um 1300 coins now obviously we're in we're about to hit april which is why he's so cheap and obviously he's not going to play as good as your road to the finals as suckles or put cards like that but when you're starting out and it can be tough like just getting a card like this for just over a thousand coins him and zakaria and i'll get to the recommended formations uh once i get the full squad in but hit those two are your defensive midfielders it, it's just a nice setup they've got the pace they've got the defending they've got a physical they will do the job and it just allows you to get your coins and spend them elsewhere but we'll look at the left wing next and the left wing for me is one that i wasn't too sure on whenever i got my team and I think I just end up using Diaby because I had him in, but using Leon Bailey is quite a good option because he's coming in at 2,100 coins. He's obviously got the 94 pace, and as with every FIFA, pace is key. It's just how it is. He is four star, four star, high low work rates. He's rapid. You smack a dead eye on him. He just does the job, to be honest. It is, for your wide players, it's just all about the pace. Like even the 83 Dembele um, has better dribbling uh, than Bailey. He's five star, five star. People still use him and he still does the job just because he's got the pace and the dribble and if you know how to use him you'll be fine so he's your left wing option we'll take a quick look at uh, the right mid and you're going to spend a little bit more here uh i don't really know why you're spending more i think he might be used for spcs at the minute but you're going to be looking at bellarabi i think he's he's spcs and it offers links to the bender brothers who are two big spcs out at the minute on my xbox this is the old gen issue here my xbox is so clunky when it comes to adding players in so bellarabi he is four star three star he has good pace again he's probably similar to bailey you're just going to throw a dead eye on him he is coming in at 3900 those so you're spending double what, double the coins there to get bellarabi but i he, i was pleasantly surprised with him on my my new account um again it's none of these players are going to be like your special cards not going to play like your name or but just at the start of the game and getting things going they can help so much and now it comes down to our two strikers now one of them is currently out of packs because he has a foot birthday card so i don't think it's he's 1700 coins he probably dropped down again uh you can see there 85 is his foot birthday card again i packed it on my main and it's been really good it's good been good fun because he gets to upgrade the five star weak foot but this card is just all but PS. He's got a four star weak foot, three star skills. I mean, Jim, he'll just be rapid for you. Um, I'm trying to think camp style wise, probably a finisher uh, on him, maybe a marksman uh, or a dead eye. There's so many options you can use for these cards just to get that shooting up as best as possible and just bang through balls to him. And he's going to be paired up front uh, for starting off with, but we will switch in game with Rashika, who I want to get a special card so badly this year because I've used him on my starter team. I use him in like managerial masterpiece and i've used him again in the ps4 starter team and this he, he's just good man he i think it's the dribbling on him to be honest he has really tidy agility um he's got the four star four star high medium he's small he's five foot ten and he has outside foot shot trait he's a good card if he gets a special card it will be incredible but he is coming in at 950 coins so in total console wise on xbox this team costs twenty eight thousand and a ps4 is twenty three thousand. so the title of the video is obviously 30k team because that's what the, the closer to the high expensive is and i use xbox as a base because i'm on xbox but that's your team i would recommend using the four 
the 4 2 3 1 in game. Obviously, use the 4 4 2 to um, use the 4 4 2 to get your chemistry, and then in game, when you go to custom tactics, you will change. And what you'll do is you'll use Huang as your striker, use Bailey as your left attacking midfielder. You then use Rashika as your central. You use Bellarabi as your right attacking midfielder. You got your two CDMs and Neymar and Zakaria, and the back line obviously stays the same. And on the channel, I'll link it down below. There are four, two, three, one custom tactics videos that you can use if you want that bit of a hand. Just getting ready with it. But that is what I believe to be the best value for money starter team you can get on FIFA 21 or right now. And we'll take a quick look at the subs and reserves. Um, I'll just add them all in and show you what you can work towards right now in the game to upgrade your team. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've added five upgrade possibilities onto the bench here. The first is your left back for Paulo Otavio. He is a he's 74 rated, but he's, he's one of these silver star cards where he is he's maxed at 74 rating, so he still counts as a silver card in the game. But his card is actually more likely, more like his stats compare more to an 83 rated left back. So he is five star, three star. He's Wolfsburg, good, good pace. You throw an anchor on him and he is a fantastic uh, upgrade. What that actually allow you to do is maybe take Davies out and spend the coins elsewhere. Uh, or if you're interested in running five of the bag, you could um, put Davies at right back using Babu and centre back. There, there's plenty of options, but you can also, it's a three manager ma manager and masterpiece, you get him, but you can also get this Hindugar card, which is part of the birthday promo. Now he's three star, five star. He's a medium, medium work rate. Um, his pace is good sprint speed. You're probably going to still want to put an engine on him because uh, his attack position and finishing is so good already he is just a good one to get even whether that's to use in your squad for a week and then just sit there to use long term to get him to put into a squad building challenge because obviously 90 rated cards and you sell for like 70k at the minute so you're getting a good value for money there they would be worth working towards um i would definitely as a starter team for the first couple weeks be using them and then the next few sbcs now Ben the brothers i'm just checking they expire on the third so they expire in a couple of days so obviously you're watching this video a week after it comes out these guys will be gone and they come through at 189k and 179k respectively on uh, xbox obviously it's a decent chunk of coins um it's i think it's unlikely you'll you'll be able to get them if you're starting club obviously if you put fifa points on which i don't promote but if you put fifa points on you'll be able to complete them sooner if it gets to the stage where you can only choose one of them choose the right back bender because he still has the um high medium work rates that you want for a defender and he's faster and it fits the meta for this year but there is also this ozo card now he's not bundesliga but and he is here for another few days he's 138k he's a four star five star card He's medium low, which for some people is a bit question mark. I've got a few games on him, and he's been he's been impressive to be honest. And his dribbling is cracked, and he's got good strength too with finesse shot and outside of the foot shot. Now the Bender brothers are good options, um, but there are other players you can get tradable. So I would put a big massive question mark on these guys. That depends on if you have the coins already, maybe you've already started your club or you completed one of them. Definitely get these two objective players, and I would if you want to stay down the Bundesliga line and complete also, because obviously you can get them in quite easily. But that's the 30k starter squad with some options i don't know how long the video is going to be in total obviously it's the first time doing this i'm trying to find the flow the best way to do it so uh, any suggestions down below any recommendations down below would be greatly appreciated but other than that if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like rating also let me know in the comments down below what sort of like leagues and budgets you want to see um squad buildings for I'm currently working to get in a Discord set up, so there can be a, a fuzzy Discord with squad building in there just to help you guys out whenever you need. But that's me for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and goodbye.